Today, I'm sharing my story. I haven't really shared it before, and Luna, you're just gonna come along for the ride. Let's get started. So, into my 20s, I got into bodybuilding, and this is a big game changer for myself. So, how did I turn this like obsession and anxiety in this you know, move from loving working out to hating it and then back to now where it's fun, I get results, it's easy, it flows, and it's a beautiful place. Well, so what changed was when I got into bodybuilding, I knew that if I put my self-worth into the hands of the judges who would judge me as I stand on stage in a bikini, which is so frivolous, that would not end well. So before I even committed to bodybuilding, I started to really work on myself. I worked with therapists to remove start to remove my sense of self-worth from my appearance, my physical appearance. Now, when I got into bodybuilding, this is where I was really forced to further work on that self-worth because, because I was competing against other people uh, with judges that I knew I could only focus on myself and the work I was putting into how I compared myself from year to year. And I did this for about seven years. And I started to ignore everything around me. I stopped looking at people around me. I didn't look at like other competitors. I didn't look at magazines. This was kind of before Instagram was really big. So I was not on Instagram, didn't go really on Facebook at all, didn't post anything about my bodybuilding journey. I kept it really quiet, to be honest. Not many people know I competed because I didn't really tell anyone. All I did was hire a coach, listen to my coach, ignored everything around me, which was amazing because I wasn't distracted by comparing myself to everyone else and putting myself worth in other places. And that allowed me to focus on myself and really get curious on myself. And it also helped me create amazing, strong systems I still use today and coach on today where I created systems around exercise nutrition where I could meal prep and eat healthy and it was really easy and not overwhelming. I could work out and get really good results and it was fun. And again, it was consistent. It was easy because I ignored everything around me. The other part of this was that I love bodybuilding and I fell in love with the process. It, I mean, the day of a competition was amazing. It's so much fun, but it wasn't just about trying to win. Yes, I wanted to win. Yes, it was always the focus <laughs> for the most part because I'm competitive, but I loved prepping before a show. I loved the whole diet aspect, the workouts. I loved off season and everything that brought. And I got really curious about my body. I looked at it all as a game and an experiment. I looked, started to look at sleep and really you no know, nerd out on that and dive deep on that. I looked at nutrition and up of nutrition and different ways to exercise and up of all that. I just made it fun and enjoyed the entire process and didn't care anymore about my self-worth belonging to others. I mean, it was still a journey. It was still, I was still in a sport that was very aesthetic based where I stood on a stage in bikini to be judged. So weird when you think about it. But that really taught me to ignore everything around me, detach my self-worth from what I was, from the exercise I was doing and to create my own process processes and systems and have fun with it all. And I did that for about seven years and earned a pro card, which is my professional status, which was amazing. I gave it my all. I loved every minute of it and then retired from it a few years ago. I retired because it was like the chapter was closed in my life. I learned what I needed to learn in my self-worth journey. And then I moved into circus training, which was really fun and flowy, which I still do now. And it felt like that chapter was done, yet there was still so much work to do on my self-worth and detaching it. And I hired a coach and I worked really deeply with a coach and did intense inner work where there was lots of tears and, you know, up levels and healings and just such deep inner work and really going back to, you know, the past of all these beliefs and judgments I picked up as a kid of feeling what I needed to do or be to receive love. And that really got me fully embracing that becoming strong wouldn't make me accepted. 
you know, seeing thin wouldn't make me light. And that completing five workouts a week wouldn't give me a badge of honor. That no matter what I did or didn't do, I was still inherently worthy and loved. And that moving my body could feel good again, could be fun again and get results. And that I could do it solely for just my own pleasure versus trying to get this love externally by doing it. And although I worked with a coach and did so much deep work, I still do this consistently today. So even with all of this, I'm still on my self-worth journey. But especially during my bodybuilding years, I created such strong systems around all of this that whenever I falter on the mindset work or go through a really challenging period, I can fall back on these systems and I can just jump right back in where I was. So guys, that is my journey to, well, today, where I'm helping you do the same. Where exercising, or what I call movement, eating healthy, can really be that simple, fun part of your life once we start to detach that self-worth from it. And it no longer will feel like a chore or task on your to-do list. So it's something you actually look forward to and it really feels simple. So that when you look in the mirror, you can fully see this confident, glowing, happy woman that you feel inside of you or want to feel inside of you. So you can have this external amazing appearance that you want and there's nothing wrong with that, but know that you have the happy, healthy mindset inside of you that matches that. Because I don't want you to feel trapped in your body anymore. So if this speaks to you, I would love to connect further. I'll link it below. I work with women in my one-to-one coaching program, which is a fitness identity course, and we go really deep. We really focus on the mindset. So when we layer the systems on, they work. And when you do all those fun tips and tricks that you pick up online, all those cool little hacks, they work. So we work on the mindset piece first. So if you feel called to, click the link below and learn more. The details are there and you can book a call so you can apply. We'll see if we're a fit to work together and if the program's a fit for you as well. Now guys, I shared a lot about myself. This was pretty intense for me. So I want you to comment with a purple heart emoji if you made it to the end today. And if there's a part of my story that really spoke to you, I would love, I'd love to hear that. Or just say hello in the comments. It's really cool connecting with all of you. And my channel has grown pretty fast in the last week. So welcome and thanks for joining me. Finally, make sure you subscribe because even if this isn't for you, it could be for someone else. And by subscribing, it tells YouTube to show this to more people and there could be women out there who need to see and hear this. I will see you all next time.